Recently, a 52-years-old patient with moderate erectile dysfunction approached me. Besides our standard shockwave treatment protocol, he wanted to try something different and take a regimen of an arginine supplement for 30 days to see if that would make a big difference in his condition. He took 5 grams, 5,000 milligrams of L-arginine daily, divided into two doses, 3 grams in the morning and then 2 grams in the evening. So in this video, I will reveal whether the L-arginine helped to improve my patient's erection over the course of a month, who can safely take the supplement without any side effects, and whether other scientific studies support my patient's results. Let's talk and explain what L-arginine is and how it works. L-arginine is an amino acid that serves as a precursor to a nitric oxide, NO, a molecule that plays a crucial role in vasodilation and widens the blood vessels. Increased nitric oxide levels can improve the blood flow, which is essential, as you understand, for achieving and maintaining an erection. Before taking this supplement, I asked my patients few questions. If he ever suffered with herpes zoster virus, he said no. So you understand why too much of L-arginine in men's system can make the virus that causes this condition become active again if you haven't had it before. Also, my patient had no history of heart disease because there are concerns that, again, taking too much of the supplement can raise the risk of heart attack in patients, only in patients with heart disease and those who take some of the cardiac medication. He also had no history of kidney disease, so we can safely administer the supplement in such high doses. If you wish to take L-arginine and follow this particular protocol, please consult your physician first. Let's now look at what scientific studies actually say about L-arginine and whether it helps to improve the erection or not. A study published in BJU International investigated the effect of L-arginine on men with organic erectile dysfunction. Participants took five grams of L-arginine daily for six weeks. The results showed the significant improvement in sexual function compared to the placebo group. Another study, a meta-analysis in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, reveals multiple studies and concluded that L-arginine at the dose of 2.5 to 5 grams daily was effective in improving erectile function in men with mild to moderate ED. Now, I would like to talk to you about the difference between L-arginine and L-citrulline. In many of my videos, you see me talking about L-citrulline in particular in a product called Citronax. Now, why do I personally like L-citrulline better? From my experience and my patient's experience, you can use L-citrulline in a high dose to achieve a better results without all this little side effects that L-arginine can bring about. But from my experience, if I take a high dose of L-arginine, I get those unwanted effects like a little headache, maybe a burning ears, maybe some pressure in the head, occasionally even like with high doses, like little palpitations. With L-citrulline, I personally don't have this effect and neither uh, I have any reports from the patients with this. Now, why do we want a high dose of this amino acids? Well, both of those amino acids are the building blocks for nitric oxide. L-citrulline is a smaller molecule. It's a building block to make L-arginine, or it goes together with L-arginine, which L-arginine is a bigger molecule. And then all of that is a building block for large molecule of nitric oxide. Now, you'll probably ask, why don't you just don't supplement nitric oxide? The way I look at it, anytime you give body something that the body should be producing on its own, you're substituting, therefore the body adapts and stop producing it. Same thing happens with testosterone. If you just put somebody on testosterone replacement therapy, the body becomes lazy and really doesn't have to produce more testosterone on its own. Instead, if you giving the body a building blocks to make testosterone or make the liver work better, of course, part of it is functioning, producing of testosterone. Then you aiding the body to produce an adequate amount of hormones, or in this case, nitric oxide, to make the function better. 
Therefore, I would rather give the body what it requires, like in amino acids, a building block for nitric oxide, instead of substituting and just giving up somebody a nitric oxide. Now, that's my logic. And again, I would like to emphasize the difference between different supplements. There's hundreds of companies making L-arginine, L-citrulline combinations. I like particular ones because I like when people in a, in a very uh, creative form combine the ingredients so you don't have to take tons of different supplements for multiple essential functions within the body. And now we're going to check the result of my patient. In the first week of taking L-arginine, the patient did not notice much of the changes in his erectile function. This was expected because usually it takes time for the body to process and respond to the increase of L-arginine dose within the body. While it may have been disappointing not to see the immediate effect, this timeline was normal for seeing the improvement with the supplement. But in the second week, the patient started to noticing his erection becoming slightly firmer. Although the improvement was major, it was enough to motivate him to keep on taking the supplement. He also felt a small increase in his sex drive, but we were not sure whether it was because of L-arginine or something else. By week three, the patient reports a bigger change. He had more consistent and firmer erections than before. It also took less time, quicker, to get an erection. He definitely felt more confident and satisfied with his sexual performance. That shows that the supplement was having a positive effect on his well-being. During the fourth week of taking the supplement, he did not observe a significant improvement in erection between the week three and week four. This could have been due to the uh, body adaptation to L-arginine or uh, the individual characteristics of the patient's body in general. What we could say for sure was that the patient had overall improvement in erection. We conducted a test, and by the end of the month, the patient exhibited mild erectile dysfunction. I would like to remind you that before the experiment, he reported a moderate erectile dysfunction. So after completing the month-long course that my patient wanted to try, we actually switched to Citronex that consists of, as I said, L-citrulline along with a few other ingredients to help to protect the lining of the blood vessels and heal them as well as reduce the inflammation. Citronax has high dose of L-citrulline with absolutely no negative effects on the body, or at least none reported by my patients or by me, who's been taking it for a while, therefore aiding your overall blood circulation in the body, your brain functions better, your fun heart functions better, or your organs are doing much better. You feel much easier time recovering after a workout. Of course, the erectile function improves dramatically. Along with the shockwave treatment protocol, it helped my patient to completely overcome the erectile dysfunction. And if you would like to learn more about Citronax and some of the other supplements that I usually recommend, please just watch this video.